We're here at the Hurley Pro at Lower Trestles, and we're into the second round of competition. Kolohe grew up here, born and raised. Felipe just moved here. Brett Simpson's from up the road in Huntington Beach. So a big battle with three guys that spent a ton of time out in this lineup. You know, I try to just want to kind of do my best surfing in those, in those heats uh, where I come up against the best guys. So you've won out here before. Do you, do you think about that when you're coming into these situations? Uh, not today. Um, I can't win the contest today, so um, I'll just I'll just try and get uh, get that thought into my mind on the finals day when the when the swell's here, and um, yeah, I'll just try and get that mojo going. He's still the highest seeded surfer remaining on the G leaderboard into the quarterfinals. As this one's going to get started, Potts. Driving down the line, local boy Kolohe and Dino, blow tail off the top. Let's the things hang out, but he ends up going down on his first attempt. Chop, and I think what happened, uh, once he threw that board into that slide, it just didn't really connect. Brett Simpson, on the other hand, deciding to, to use his backhand. I'm trying to tag one of these left-handers. A couple of nice, clean maneuvers right there. Simpo, giant killer here at Trestles. Just goes down at the end there. Just making sure the guys are looked after, you know. It's just one less thing for them to worry about. Toledo, here he goes. Toledo now is ready to get involved in round four. This round almost seems like it's made for Toledo. Big wrap off the top on a sizable wave. Drifts one right in the pocket. Sets that rail for a roundhouse cutback. Blow tail out the back. He ends up fighting Ooh. for the finish. He won't get it. And Dino now coming off a big rip in the pocket. Draws that layback carve in front of Felipe. Setting it out in front. Styles his way through the roundhouse. And Dino's looking for a good way to finish. Rooftop float off the bottom jam. And the local boy steps off. As hard as you normally do, small mistakes can happen. You see just cruising along right here. Jams it in the pocket. Waiting for it to stand up. Right there, nice turn from uh, Toledo. Another nice little wrap around. And this is where he sort of goes for that sort of sliding maneuver right there. Throws a tail out the back and goes down. So a little bit of a mistake. That was definitely on his way to a good score. And then right behind him, wave number two this afternoon is looking like the go because that first wave seems to clean the line up. And that next wave has got a lot smoother face, which allows you to set the fins better. Put that rail in the water and just unleash some big turns like that. Nice rail surfing from Kaloe and Dino, getting better at that uh, aspect of the sport. Always had the air game, but his rail surfing, you go and do something else apart from surfing. That way when you come back, you're super hungry. Now gliding in, almost looked like he got a lift from the ski, but he had so much paddle power as Brett Simpson. All drive, one big section, misses the grab on the rotator. Well, let's see, get over this last bump. Ooh, looks like a nice one. Can Felipe get into it? Oh, of course he can. Take it away, Joe. He's got to be. Toledo already has a ton of speed. He's going to sit on the roof, flies by the section without even flinching. Highline carve. Now he's going to get back down the line, a big section to work with. He just arcs it. Looking to finally ramp up, tail to the sky. There's that air game finish for Toledo. And Dino wants to answer. Perfect snap to kick this one off. Set up slash into a fin ditch. Force the two for one right on the inside corner. Cleaner. Toledo, you can see there's a few steps. He's got to get up and over. Now he starts to drive down the line. Beautiful float right there. Just free fall drop. Hooking into it again. So nice clean surfing from Toledo. But this is what he's so good at right here. Just setting this up. You can tell something's coming right here. Bang, just gets that board nice and inverted. That's going to be a great score for Felipe Toledo. And then look at how clean the next wave is, Joe. What that does is it just allows Chloe just to set that rail and just get that nice, big, swooping turns. Again, that second wave of the set, nice and clean. A lot more easier to set the rail and, and just do those big turns. Surprised he didn't go to the air on that last turn. Just making sure... Positive signs of swell still coming through. Three guys out. Someone's going to want this one. And now Brett Simpson will use priority. Got left out of the last set. Nice clean opening hook. Vertical through that first section. 
Just a perfect style and approach at lowers. Now he's going to start pushing the progression with the tail slide. Blows the tail out one more time, lays back, recovers without a problem. You can recover type maneuver. Let's have a look. Brett Simpson, as you said, has been left out of the last couple of rotations, so he really needs to get himself back in the game. Surfing well on this wave right here. Nice, clean, swooping turns from Simbo. And then right here, throws the tail out nicely. Great control to ride backwards. And again, see how he fell back right there, regathered. Didn't even see him in the white water. Somehow pulled it off and got the score to take the big win as we watch Simpo getting the motion going down the line. Tail drifting, hack controls it. He's got a rampy section. He'll float the first one. Now winding up for the punt. Perfect form and rotation. Simpo pulls it off. He's looking super confident. He's having fun out in this lineup. Next wave's going to Kolohe. Blows half his board out the back on the first turn. Inside's not giving him much. He's over it. Just let's have a look. Philippe Toledo, here he goes. Is this the one he's looking for? 7.03 required, Joe. This right is just stretching out down the line for Toledo. Blitzes that first section. He's got another coping to deal with. He'll carve through. Toledo off the bottom, drives through a meaty section, passing Andino on the inside. Now a big windup for a layback hack to finish way down the beach. Another opportunity for Toledo to go to the sky and stick to the open face, and he'll be getting a huge score. Being on the right wave, let's check out last of Brett Simpson. Yeah, Brett Simpson, you, know, you needed a massive score, needed something up into the nines, and this is just classic Simpo surfing. Nice, clean, smooth, yet radical as well. Needs to crank it up though because he's got two little hot rats that are just absolutely lighting it up. Fred Simpson knows that's not going to be enough. 6.47 right behind him, Chloe Andino jams it through the lip. Let's have a look there, a little bit off balance. Connected nicely on that occasion. Throws the tail out there, complete control, putting all the weight over the front foot. Just missed that last turn. And that's where he decided, you know what, this isn't going to change the situation, but this is Felipe Toledo. Waited for the third wave of the set, and look how clean and beautiful this wave is. Allows him just to really drive through his turns. Jams that one in, up and over the white water, waiting for this end section. Got to nail it, and that's exactly what he did. It's incredible to see, and I, you know, as a father myself, I understand it completely. Thank you, Pete Mel, as we continue with live action. Toledo takes the lead, and he just keeps swinging out the back. Can drift on demand. Big floats, landing in the flats. Grab rail, underwater reverse, oh. and he'll pull that thing off. He is surfing like a superhero at lower trestles. Wow. He'll fall on the fish finish, but it doesn't matter. That guy's moving straight to the quarterfinals. That's how tough this heat is. Felipe, up and over that first section. Talked about as one of the best surfers in the planet on the planet when it comes to riding waves like this. And watch this, this is why upside down inverted comes out with speed and still manages to get around that section that's normally a finishing turn toledo's putting that in on the way down the line and still manage Com competitors are comboed we saw him get this rhythm with the qs out here to his wins last season at snapper in rio de janeiro and in portugal when he heats up he's almost not stoppable and dino up and out scores in for felipe a 977 Right, throwing Sorry. away more excellent scores maybe, but he's obviously got a stranglehold on this lineup at Lower Trestles, sending the local boy and Dino into round five, and the huge wild card of Brett Simpson. We sent to round five as well. This heat's already coming to a close, but Toledo still has more for the Lower Trestles right. An incredible performance, and we've got some big heats to look forward to.